Welcome back to the show. I'm hanging with K9. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to see you, my nigga. What's popping? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Are you freshed out? Bling, bling. Reese Watch, blinking. Can we get a shot of that? He's making too much money, man. Chilo, chilo, chilo. Good He's making too much money, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Dude. Don't see you, man. <laughs> Let's it? talk about that green. That green, um, five days after. Were you able to meet him in person while he was alive? Yes, I was. You know, I'm friends with his stars, and stars made one song for him, and so we had the opportunity to hang out together, and he's just a great guy, man. He's the realest, man. He's just the realest. By the time the news of him passing on was um, was in the media, where were you? Where did you hear the news? Was it, was it on social media? Was it radio? Where did you hear? I actually heard, I saw it on social media. I was in Niger State at the point. Uh, I was doing some stuff, hustle, in Niger State. But then I saw it on Facebook or Twitter or something, and I was just devastated. I just sat down, and I was just thinking, like, what just happened? Like, I mean, we're not personal or anything, but, you know, when somebody like that passes, you feel it. Because he was a pioneer. Like, he started something that a lot of people were scared to do, and he did it perfectly. So. I heard it and I felt it, and it was just a really, really sad day that day. Five years after, we all packed here to celebrate him. How do you think this would pass a lesson to every other artist? I mean, this would teach everybody to know that, look, you can start something. Don't be scared. Like, the norm, you can break it. Like, you can think a little outside the box and make something fresh, something unique, something new, so that other people can follow in your footsteps as well. So yeah, we're here to celebrate the legend, even in death, man, even in death. I don't know, K9, let's jump, good to see you, bro. Yeah, my name is Papa Femme, AK Silicon. Um, I'm a rap artist, and as well as a content. Indigenous rap? No, 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 no. Uh, but, you know, Dagreen, as one way or the other, injected us to fuse a little bit of indigenous right. thing into our music now. So, um, he really made it attractive and made it um, commercial, the way we put it. So, um, I think one of the one of the things that he has done has just left the legacy, and many of us are just following in his um, in his trend. You know, that's, that's right. just how it is. That's right. We're doing it because of that group, yeah. And you don't know want to wait to teach me. I will never get what you talk so I talk so. I want to hear you say, "Go so go." Every day you say, "Go so go." Yo, check this out. I'm 
You know one thing about that green is that green. I don't know if his daddy is Babalawo or something. That green knows how to put in those Yoruba words that you you really have to go and check your Yoruba dictionary before you know the meaning. So the guy is deep. The guy is deep. So I had to listen to a lot of his songs so that I would be able to put my own lyrics together with the kind of style I'm creating, the Fuji and R&B thing. So so much respect to that green. I believe in uh, our indigenous scene and it's one of the, those people that I believe live in helping Yoruba, representing Yoruba home and abroad. And uh, these are the people that is a legion. And uh, there is nothing I can do that made me forget him. He's the best that I think that Yoruba has ever had in the past. And thank God the guy he still lives, he still lives, I believe. The guy still lives. He still lives. Legends live forever. Five years ago, we lost a rare gem, um, but we're excited to be here, knowing fully well that his legacies live on. Where were you when the news broke? I was. What? Well, which of the news? The one, the accident or the death itself? Death. The death itself. I was in the office. Um, when I heard. I was about to go on air, wow. and I just couldn't. I just couldn't go on air. I just, I just couldn't go on air. I just, from the moment I, I played the first song, which was a Dark Green song, I just went on and on. I couldn't stop. It was, it was a very emotional moment for me on radio, and I envisioned five years from now, and I believe that. He was going to be the one person, I mean, this is me being very technical, he was going to be the one person who started off and never got to finish what he was meant to do. And this is the same way that we keep celebrating because we all believed in what this guy could have achieved. Sometimes when I sleep and I'm dreaming, man, I just don't want to wake up. I realize that I'm married to the game, man. Me and my bitch never break up. I put it down for the good, too. I've been that way from the get go. Uh, yeah. And I wonder.